everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. For today's video, I'm just going to be sitting down and doing a Q&A all about my brain tumor. For those of you who do not know, I was actually diagnosed with a more than likely benign brain tumor called a pituitary adenoma on December 20th of 2022, which also happened to be my 28th birthday. And ever since I mentioned it here on my channel, I have been documenting the entire journey and I will leave all the videos related to it down below in case you guys are interested in watching them. I have one all about about my diagnosis. I also have one about my treatment and in those videos I've asked you guys if you had any questions and if you've used sent some in so I figured now would be a good time to sit down and answer them for you guys and if you have any more questions definitely leave them in the comments down below and without further ado let's get started. I do have the questions written down on my phone so if I'm looking down that is why. The first question is what were your main symptoms that alerted you that something was wrong and the funny thing is I've actually been symptomatic for probably 12 to 18 months now and no doctor ever mentioned that it could possibly be endocrine related or anything like that. It literally wasn't until I went to my yearly OBGYN visit that I actually found stuff out because she did a hormonal blood work a panel and that's when everything came up and then I ended up getting an MRI and that is how I found out all about it. But before I talk about my actual symptoms, please remember that just because you may be experiencing these symptoms, does not mean that you have what I have and you should definitely consult with your doctor if you are concerned and also remember that everyone's symptoms are different. So getting into my symptoms, my main symptoms were that I have put on over 50 pounds in the past 12 to 18 months which is a lot of weight to be putting on for someone who exercises regularly and eats pretty clean. I also have had terrible headaches and I'm talking like three to six times a week I was having headaches. I I'm always cold. I literally wear a fleece and leggings in the middle of summer and one of the bigger things has been vision changes. I wear glasses in my day-to-day -day life. I don't wear them filming because of the glare but otherwise I have to wear glasses in order to see and even with my glasses my vision has declined a ton and I went from having a regular period to having an irregular period which is not normal for me. I got my period when I was 11 or 12 and ever since then it came on the exact same date every month without birth control and and all of a sudden, probably 10 to 14 months ago, it has started coming and going when it feels like it. And I've had a bunch of other symptoms off and on, but these are all of the major ones. The second question is what diagnostics were used to make your diagnosis? And I had a hormone panel of blood work done that showed that I had elevated prolactin levels and I had to do blood work four weeks apart. And the first time I did blood work, my prolactin levels were 29 which is elevated and then four weeks later when I did repeat labs my prolactin had jumped up all the way to 74 and so it was confirmed that there was something wrong and because I had such a drastic jump they decided to go ahead and do an MRI of my pituitary gland with and without contrast and it was then confirmed on my birthday when I had my MRI. The third question is for your MRI were you in an open one and if not how bad was the closed MRI? So for my MRI I was in a closed one. I was hoping for an open one, but there were none available anytime soon, so I did have to do it in a closed one. I do have an entire video on my diagnosis, and in that video, I talked a lot about the MRI and the entire experience, and we'll leave that down below for you guys. But for the MRI, I was given some Advan to take beforehand to chill me out. In all honesty, it did not do much for me at all. I panicked through the entire MRI. I am going to be completely honest with you guys that closed MRIs, in my opinion, are awful. Not to mention they do have to put a cage over your face as well. And for my repeat MRI, which I have no idea when that's going to be quite yet, I am definitely going to need some heavier medication. Question four is what is your treatment plan? And so for my treatment plan, I am on a medication called Covergaline. And I actually have an entire video all about my experience being on it that I will leave down below for you guys. It has not been a fun experience being on this medication. Currently, I am on 0.5 milligrams of it and I take it twice a week. I take it every Monday and Thursday and on those days I feel pretty crummy and usually end up spending the entire day in bed. Question five is have you experienced any side effects from the medication you are on? And the answer to that is yes, which are nausea. I get super nauseous. 
nauseous when I take it and I usually end up having to take Zofran. I also have experienced dizziness, not as much anymore that my body's gotten quite used to it, but in the beginning I definitely had a lot of dizziness. I have wicked bad joint pain on the days that I take the medication, especially in my hands, my wrists, and my elbows. Another thing is hair loss and I actually ended up cutting eight inches of hair off to make it more easy to manage because of the hair loss. It makes me super duper tired and another one of the major ones is that I now have the Raynaud's phenomenon. I have actually thought I've had it for years but being on this medication has definitely made it worse and basically that is when like all your extremities get super duper cold. Question number six is do you or did you have any strange food cravings and the answer to that is yes. You guys are gonna think that what I'm mentioning is disgusting but at the time it sounded so good to me and it was good to me. For those of you who don't know having a prolactinoma or a pituitary adenoma can sometimes mimic pregnancy symptoms. One of those being the outrageous food cravings and food combinations that you want to eat. And for me they were really strange food cravings. The first major one was pickles and Cool Whip. It makes me gag just thinking about it but it was so good at the time. Another one that was outrageous that you guys are gonna be like what the heck was Fruity Pebbles with yellow mustard. Now I didn't have the milk with the cereal. It was just straight up Fruity Pebbles and mustard. Just thinking about it makes me want to hurl. Another one is that I would literally take goldfish, put it in a bowl, and then put milk in it and eat it like it was cereal. That one actually to this day is still pretty good. Not gonna lie. But yes, I most definitely had those very strange cravings. And the last question is question number seven and it says even though it's not cancer is it still scary knowing you have a brain tumor? And the answer to that is 100% yes. Even though this tumor is more than likely benign it is still scary to think that I have something growing on my brain that should not be there. However I am very hopeful that the medication shrinks it. I am trying to avoid surgery at all costs. And another thing is that even though it is not cancer the treatment is still really rough on your body. I'm not saying it's as rough and stuff as radiation and chemo but I am saying that the medication you take is pretty potent and still takes a big toll on your body. So those are just a few of the questions that I have gotten and figured I would go ahead and answer. If you guys liked this video and are liking it, that you can follow along with my journey definitely let me know in the comments down below. While you guys are down there be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I upload new content regularly and would love it if you'd become part of our little family. Also be sure to hit the bell so that you are in fact notified every time I do upload a new video. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys! Bye.